Hi guys and welcome back to Creature Feature Fridays. My name is John and today we're going to be talking about our Cenarius vultures that we have here at the zoo. Uh, Cenarius vultures are a very large type of vulture that are found across a large chunk of Eurasia um, pretty much from uh, Spain all the way over to the Mongolian steppe. Uh, they are really widespread and they are among one of the largest birds of prey in the world. Uh, they have a wingspan that gets to be up to 10 feet long and they can weigh up to 30 pounds, which in the bird world, that's a lot. Um, these guys, in addition to being one of the largest birds of prey, uh, they are pretty much uncontested among the scavengers. Um, other scavengers leave them completely alone. Most animals leave them completely alone. Uh, and they are really important uh, to getting to the, the carrion that they eat because of their size. Uh, these guys have an enormous bill. It's one of the larger ones that you'll see uh, in among birds of prey. And they use that bill for tearing and shredding their carcasses. Uh, they are able to rend hide much better than a lot of other uh, scavengers can. And they're also big and strong enough that they can even break some bones, like ribs, off of uh, their kills. Um, the, they also like other vultures. They have a pretty sparsely feathered head and they have you know, totally naked feet and that's to help keep them relatively clean. Uh, when these guys go onto a carcass, they will dive their heads face first into those uh, carcasses and having feathers that are all gunked up with blood and gore and stuff makes for a really messy cleanup afterwards. So having fewer feathers there helps. Um, in addition to being really large, these guys are also very high flyers. They have specialized hemoglobin that allows them to more efficiently process oxygen at uh, lower air pressures, which basically means that they can fly at much higher elevations than other animals. They're found flying around the Himalayan mountains, no problem. Um, so because of their size and everything, like I said, they're not really messed with by other animals too much, but these guys are listed as near threatened and that's because they are threatened by people. Uh, in addition to the usual things of uh, land development and habitat loss, uh, these guys also suffer from uh, poison bait that are put out by livestock owners. Uh, basically, you, it's normally meant to poison would-be predators off of uh, the livestock, but because they, these guys eat carrion, they will eat that poison bait and get sick and die as a result. Um, they're really slow breeding as well. They typically only lay one egg at a time, so that those numbers really take a toll on them. Um, they also suffer from issues with improved hygiene in general. Uh, with increased hygiene and you know uh, us being able to clean up carcasses much more quickly and efficiently, there's just fewer dead things to go around for them to really eat and take advantage of. Um, these guys are. They're, they're, they're just awesome. But these guys are, uh, they're, they're, like I said, they're specialized with their hide and stuff. They are an old world vulture. Um, they're not like our new world vultures that we have around here. Um, the old world vultures don't do the nasty, vomity stuff that we associate with the new world ones. And uh, they get along really well with the other vultures in their niche. Um, there are some vultures like the uh, bearded vulture, which are specialized in consuming bone. And so these guys kind of, they collectively fill out that carcass and really take advantage of every bit and piece and really help wear it down. And that's super important because these guys will kill and clean up car kill, excuse me, they'll clean up carcasses before diseases get a chance to really incubate and set in. So they're really important for taking care of uh, diseases like uh, the bubonic plague and anthrax before they have the chance to really uh, incubate inside carrion and become more widespread. Um, these guys are known now and then to kill live prey. Uh, they will take down usually things that are small, young, and sick or injured. So they have been known to kill foxes. Uh, they will also take down uh, the calves of cattle and yaks, as well as wild lambs. Um, but they, you know, they, they mostly stick to carrion, and so that's you know super important. They really have their own special little niche carved out for them. Um, that's about all I really have. Um, thank you so much for you know, visiting us on this week's Creature Feature Fridays, and we will see you next time.